I would like to go through the um, kind of the um, how to navigate uh, the uh, program and also briefly explain the interface first. Okay, so first of all, um, this is the hierarchy panel. As you can see, uh, all the elements in the scene will be placed in your hierarchy panel. So uh, you can double click uh, on the uh, different object. So it will like zoom in to show where the object is in your uh, scene view. Okay, so this is the hierarchy panel. Uh, this is the project uh, panel. This is uh, will have all the object that you have download in your asset folder so you can see under asset there's nothing in our folder yet you can see uh, in the asset there's only uh, a folder called scene and uh, this is the terrain file we created for um, this okay so it will be automatically create a asset uh, for your terrain okay so later on if you have uh, more folder uh, things you download from the internet it will sh you should also save it in your asset folder I'm just going to show you an example so I'm going to create a folder uh, called audio. Okay, so later on, if I have any audio file, I'll place it in this folder. I'll call another one called script. Okay, so if I have script, I'll place it in this folder. And um, what else I can put in here? Okay, texture. Okay, so as you can see, you can create, um, you can organize a uh, different folder in your asset folder. And then you can see whenever you have those update, it will also update in your project folder. So you can see now when I choose asset, there's not just the scene folder, there's also the audio, the script, and texture. Of course, there's nothing in there yet, um, but just showing you, uh, you can add your own folder in here to organize your assets, uh, and then it will make things a little bit easier uh, to find. And it will be also updated the same time uh, in the project panel. So keep in mind, uh, make sure you don't like just randomly delete stuff in your asset folder. If you delete here in your asset folder, uh, Unity will also lost that file in the program. Okay, okay next uh, I will show you um, the inspector panel. So you can see uh, depending on what the object I'm uh, selecting, the inspector panel will change accordingly. So if I'm selecting a light, it will be setting for like the color of the light, different type of the light, uh, different intensity. If I'm choosing camera, there will be different uh, setting for the camera. And when I just select terrain, there will be different setting that I can change for the terrain. So the inspector panel is um, you can find all the different setting uh, for the object you're selecting. Okay. And next, um, this is the one in the middle is your scene view. So uh, just keep in mind there's um, might be like different tab here. Uh, so I'm making sure you're selecting the scene view. Okay, so uh, if you found like you couldn't really move anything uh, in your object, uh, in your viewpoint, probably because you're selecting the game view. Okay, so you can only like pan around, move around in the scene view. Okay, so scene view is kind of like your workspace, uh, and the game view is what the player will see when they hit play. So uh, in the scene view, uh, you can see now I'm selecting my terrain, and uh, you can use the scrolling uh, function to like scrolling and scroll out. And let me show you really quickly the tools over here. Okay. So let me create another object that is not a terrain. Okay, so just a little cube here. So uh, the first tool over here is um, like the, the move tool. Okay, so the move tool, uh, when you select it, obviously you can uh, move your object around in the scene. This is the rotation tool. Um, you can rotate your object the way you want it. You can also see when you rotate, uh, things will also change in the inspector panel. So you can see the number will change. So if you mess things up uh, and you want to reset it, uh, you can just uh, go back and type in the value and then it will go back to this uh, kind of the default. And uh, this one is the scaling tool. You can, uh, if you click and drag in the middle cube, it will scale it uh, with the same proportion. If you only drag on one of the axes, you can see I'm dragging on the Z axis, uh, it will scale on one, only one of the axes. So same with the rotation. If you only want to rotate in one of the axes, uh, you can just drag on the accordingly line with different color, red for X, blue for Y, and uh, green, oh actually I think green is Y and blue is uh, the Z axis. And uh, this tool over here, uh, this one, this is only for 2D game, so you don't really need to worry about it. 
Uh, but this one might be pretty helpful. This is the uh, move rotation and scale like three in one tool. So when you use uh, select this tool, you can actually see all the options for uh, moving and like scaling and also rotating. So if you want to do all the tools at once, you can select this tool here. Uh, uh, the first one, uh, which is the hand tool, this is just helping you to pan around in your scene. You're not actually moving it. It's just uh, seeing this object uh, in different position. Okay. So uh, now we have to uh, share you a very useful tip is to uh, kind of switch into uh, different tools using shortcut on your keypad. So uh, it will be Q for the move tool, W for the move tool, E for rotation, R for scale, T, you don't really need to use it for the um, 2D setting, and Y is for the 3-in-1 uh, movement tool. Okay. The custom editor tool, um, I'm not, um, I don't think you have to worry about it here. Okay, so next, how to navigate and see the things you want in the uh, scene view. So first of all, now you know the move tool, you'll be able to like pan around in the scene. And then using the scrolling function, you can uh, zoom in and zoom out. Okay, what about you want to see this box in the other uh, angle? So to do that, uh, you can uh, click on Option or Alt and then drag. So that way you can like rotate and see the object uh, in different angle. Okay, that's the option. If you have, um, like you can also like, you like press the scrolling key so that is another way to like pan around okay so just a different um, kind of method uh, to do it dif do things differently okay uh, personally i like the holding the option uh, to do the panning uh, for the orbiting uh, to see different uh, the object in different angle okay on um, some other things that you need to know uh, for navigating in the scene is in the view over here so uh, if you notice this little like tools on the top on uh, while well, if you click on it you can see on um, the object in different view the bottom view back view top view and um, it might be useful in some of the terms uh, if you are, are trying to like move your like, object like right on the bottom of the edge you can again like uh, find like the right view, the back view, uh, and also like the uh, right view, so you can make sure it's like laying on the platform correctly. You can see uh, that might be helpful instead of like seeing the perspective. If you want to go back to the perspective view, uh, no worry. Simply just use hold option and orbit it. It will go back to the perspective view. Okay, and uh, something that uh, some student. Uh, feel confused is sometimes if you like accidentally click on this 2D, uh, it will toggle to the 2D view. So you won't be able to like, like orbit it and see the perspective view of for your object. So no worry, just uh, uncheck the 2D so you can go back to the regular uh, 3D view. I think if you hit 2 like on keyboard, it will also toggle the 2D view. So just be careful on that and showing you uh, how you can fix that. Okay, next uh, is the uh, game view here. So game view is what the player will see. So scene view is the kind of the work view uh, for the designer to see your game. And the game view is what the uh, player will see. Uh, it will use uh, the, the view for the camera in the scene. So you can see um, in default there's this main camera set up in your scene. Um, so it's just pointing this weird angle, like the edge of your terrain. So if you go to the game view, um, this is what the player will see. We don't really need this main camera later. I'll show you how to add like a first person controller. Um, and so that way on the a player can actually walk and navigate in the scene. The main camera uh, it's not interactive, so you cannot really like move it. Uh, okay, so uh, to toggle between scene view and game view, um, this is like this button over here. If you click on play, this will also help you to uh, preview on the game view automatically, and it will bring you to uh, full screen. Um, if it's not full screen, you can uh, just click on the maximum on play, then it will go uh, full screen when you hit uh, play. And then, um, if you want to go back to the work view, I'll make, just uncheck the play button or hitting the pause button will also work uh, to go back to the work view. Remember when you're in the game view, okay, if you're in the game view, you won't be able to select your object in the scene. So you will have to make sure 
you jump back to the same view uh, if you want to modify and uh, change the placement or uh, put more stuff you will need to be in the same view